hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome 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 my name is daniela agofre if you're a new subscriber here if you this is your first time coming across my channel welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you know what you know what's about basically you know what's about welcome <laughs> okay so um before we get into the video please like share subscribe yeah i'm giving you guys like two seconds one two okay so now we can get into the video i'm really excited i get really pumped in the morning guys so today we're talking about i really need to work on my eye coordination eye connection today we're talking about following god's leading how to follow god's leading basically because this is like something i am currently in the process of like i'm working on personally and i thought to share with you guys and maybe we resonate with someone out there let me know in the comments okay so um following god's leading i'm looking down because my bible is here i'm currently studying the book of joshua and as I was meditating, as I was meditating this morning, as I was meditating this morning, um, like it just popped, like it just popped in my head, like, uh, oh wow, this is this is this is rich, this is quite interesting. So, um, if you're familiar with the Book of Joshua, you kind of already have like context into what I'm about to talk about, basically. But something that we popped to me in the book of joshua that resonated with me that's what i've been looking at it popped something that really resonated with me in the book of joshua was how joshua kept on following the leading of god and it's interesting because that's something i really struggle with so you can see how god kept on directing joshua through his paths with the israelites every step of the way Joshua kept on following the leading of God. He kept on going back to God and God kept on directing his steps. And that's something I struggle with because I'm, I would say I'm a bit of an impatient person when it comes to sitting down and doing one thing for a long period of time. Maybe, maybe I'm saying it the wrong way. I'm the kind of person that when I get something, boom, I want action. Like, there's no, I don't like to wait. Like, <laughs> and like that, that's why I love to cook because cooking, you're just, you're just busy. You're just turning things. You're just i was busy <laughs> so god is really working like in this season of my life god is really working on me in that aspect of how to lean on him how to trust him even when things don't make sense trust him lean on him and that you will keep you will keep directing you you will keep making a way that's something i'm currently like in, in the, that, that's the season i'm in right now following god's leading yeah and sometimes it's a struggle because it's really not like it's not hard but it's a struggle for me because like i find it hard to like sit down and study my bible sometimes it's just, like i'm working on it like right now god was like honey before you before you sit down and talk to people about me you gotta spend time with me i'm like okay <laughs> I'm like okay i got you so yeah that is um something that's quite interesting because you can literally if you're familiar with the book of joshua like i said you can literally see how after god spoke to him after his master died he was like okay it's time for you to take my people the israelites you gotta take them across the river you gotta take them to the promise so and after that even after the encounter with rahab he still went back to god like god kept on directing him every step of the way and i feel like that's something I personally struggle with and I, I don't know if you guys struggle with it too let me know in the comment section like please like we struggle like even like we're achieving our goals with like in our in our faith walk we struggle and you would think it's so easy to like just sit down and read the bible i mean the the the, the, the more you do it it will get you get used to it basically i mean that any if anything in life really the more you do it the more it will come easy to you but yeah um i know i struggle with it like I'm, I'm i'm not the only one so yeah but i'm working on it so like just going back to the word every single time um 
following God's leading because we can we can get so impatient as humans that when we we kind of know what we want to do, whether in our faith walk, like just a faith walk with God, um, trying to achieve our goals, we can be so impatient. Um, once we like know something, we want to do something, just go for it. You don't take a step back to like, like okay, Holy Spirit, what do I do today? Like, what steps do I take? Like, should I wear this? Cl should I wear this clothes? Yeah, is that serious? So like, where do I go? Who do I meet with? Like, those simple like little conversations in the morning with God, like throughout your day, is so important because God is always ready to speak to us. He's always ready to speak to us. We just we also have to be willing to listen. That's just it. Because like, when you get distracted. It's kind of hard for you to discern um, God's like when God is speaking to you and like like just things in your head generally. So that's like that's what I wanted to say basically. And I feel like if you walk if you're trying to like walk with God, there are like three main things you have to. I wrote it down actually. You have to have a need. Like you have to have a need because for God to want to use you. For God to want to direct you, you have to have a need, and it's, it, it literally shows in like in the book of Joshua, like the Israelites. If you like, if you know the book, you know what I'm talking about. So like, they had a need, obviously, and God used that to lead them. So you have to have a need for God to lead you. Secondly, you always have to go back to the Word because even like, let's say you have a mentor, or like, yeah, you have a mentor. That's a perfect example and he's guiding you you always go back to him you have a relationship with that mentor if you have a relationship with someone you always go to that person to guide you to to speak to the person you get so it's the same thing with god like walking with god you always have to go back to him it's not just on in church on sunday um or, or midweek service like every day opening your bible and spending time with him letting him speak to you meditating on the word that's how god speaks to you that's how he directs you like that intimacy is, is so, like it's so important then patience i struggle with that and i'm sure i'm not the only one on this table you have to be patient but it's not like oh, okay god spoke to me today then boom, 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 you, you're so impatient like god speaks in bits that's he speaks he speaks in bits when he says this you take action he will then speak again you take action he will then speak again so it's just quite interesting and refreshing to like and like just get this all from reading the book of joshua really like patience having a need for god to lead you then just spending time with god spending time in the word and so like it's so important i cannot like overemphasize enough like speaking from personal experience so like it's it's quite and uh, i'm sweating so much this is not what I'm this video is going to be short it's going to end very soon <laughs> so yeah um that's just my take from studying the book of joshua um you guys let me know in the comment section the things you struggle with um on your journey in faith or trying to achieve your goals really like what are the things you feel like get in your way are you impatient like me like do you find it hard studying your bible like let me know let me know i want i want to know what you guys like what's going on in your head so yeah, um, until the next one, I will see you guys.